This video will review scientific notation. Scientific notation is a faster way of writing numbers that have lots of zeros in them to explain uh, their magnitude. So essentially, you can write a very large number such as the number 1000 as 1 times 10 to the third, or a very small number like 1 thousandth as 1 times 10 to the negative 3. So if we're looking at our uh, number that is in scientific notation, if, there, if it's a positive value, then that means that the overall number that we're writing in scientific notation is larger than 1. And if there's a negative sign, that means that the value of the number in normal notation is smaller than 1. So essentially, this sign is extremely important. Now, an easy way to determine what the magnitude of this number is, is to simply count how many times you're going to move the decimal place. So there's always one numeral in front of the decimal in proper scientific notation. And then the magnitude of the exponent is going to be how many times you move the zero to get between its position in normal notation to its position in scientific notation. So if I take the number 1,000, the original place that the decimal point would be would be at the end of the third zero or after the third zero. In order to count how many zeros are there, I will move the decimal one to three places, and that will give me 1 times 10 to the, and this is 1, or I'm sorry, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and that gives me a third. Likewise, if I'm going to do 1 times 10 to the negative 3, and I'm going to write that in normal notation. Now I'm going to count how many times I have to move the decimal to get the one, which is the first non-zero number in front of the decimal. So that would be one, two, three. And so that means that it's one times 10 and because this is a smaller number than one, and we're moving, when we count, we're moving our decimal to the right, this one is going to have a negative exponent. So if we do these examples, in the first example, my decimal place is going to be right there, and I'm going to go to the left one, two, three, four times, so that would be 5 times 10. Since this number is larger than 1, that's going to be a positive 4. For the second one, I'm going to write the first non-zero number. So 6, that's going, there's only going to be 1 in front of the decimal place. 0. 0.5 times 10. Now, this number is smaller than one. So to determine what the exponent is going to be, we're going to move the decimal place from here to right here, or right here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And since this value is smaller than the number one, that means that my sign is going to be negative and this is going to be 
a four. To do number three, we're moving our decimal point from here to here. So we would write 1.05 times 10. This, is, this value is larger than one. So it's going to be a positive exponent. One, two, three, four. So that's another one to the fourth. And then if we're looking at the final one, we're moving the decimal point from here to there. And that would be 1.918 times 10 to the, and we're moving it one, two, to the two, and since this value is smaller than one, we have to put a negative sign. So look at the following review questions. Pause your video and write your answers to the questions on a piece of paper. I will wait 10 seconds and then I will come back and explain the answers to the questions. All right, so writing 0.000063 in scientific notation means that we're going to move the decimal place from there to there. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be 6.3 times 10. And since this value is smaller than 1, that will be negative five. And for number two, where it says to write 1.033 times 10 to the sixth in normal notation, we're going to first go ahead and write the numbers that we've got. We're going to move the decimal place back to the right six places from here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And this would be our correct answer.